Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Total Basic, and I'm here to ask and answer one simple question. WTF is the ass kickers. This is a Streets of Rage style brawler game by a company called Ego Games. I'll check it out and see if it's any good. It's fairly rare to see a Streets of Rage style game actually match up to the original in any real respect. We'll see if this one comes close. Find out very shortly. I think we're just going to go straight into it. It's a brawler. It's fairly simplistic. There are three modes. You've got story mode. You've got survival and time attack. There is one and two player. It's local co-op only. Start on normal, I think. And that would be the first level right there. Right, you've got three characters. Which is basically Adam, Axel, and Blaze, let's be honest. Unless you want to maybe call Marcus Max. We can... Wait a second. Alex, Axel, Marcus, Max. Hmm. <laughs> okay, right. Well, I think we'll start with Alex, I suppose. Right. What's the start one? There we go. Well, the initial presentation is pretty positive. I'm liking that for the start. Music is good. Menu is pretty awesome. This is extremely similar. In fact, that is the same font that Streets of Rage used. Unfortunately, they seem to be lacking the space bar. Also, there's lack of grammar right there. Ah! <laughs> I don't know why these are stuck together, but hey, okay. Right, yes. Standard plot. We're not really interested in that. Okay, and... Oh, dear. Right. This looks a little bit new ish I have to say, in terms of the graphic style. The gym is randomly being invaded by some guy in pink shirt. Fight indeed. Okay, right, let's start. Oh, God. Right, the first thing to say is that the movement controls are incredibly clumsy and inaccurate. That's going to be a major problem. Major problem. If you're going to design a brawler, your controls have got to be tight. Otherwise, here's the thing about brawlers, right? Brawlers require very precise movement at the higher levels because a lot of the guys that you actually fight are generally quite unfair. You'll see that they will move between planes on the field deliberately in order to actually avoid your attacks. So unless you have precise movement, then you tend to run into problems there. Now, it seems I randomly did a special move there. There is no special move button in this game. I believe you have to hold down the button. There we go. So I've got some kind of fireball there. And then you can sort of do a, a double dash forward knee attack. And that uses up your stamina meter. Yeah, that's pretty standard. And I think this actually recharges by doing combos. But yeah, the problem with the movement is basically that... If you see, I'm tapping backwards and forwards. It's actually taking time to move around, which is is not good. It makes the controls extremely clumsy and most certainly very unenjoyable to use. Okay. Let's, come on. This... I have to say the animation quality is not exactly up to snuff either. I think if you create animation that is worse than a game that came out about 20 years ago on the Sega Genesis, then it's probably something amiss. Pick up these for score. I believe this also refills your stamina meter. Ah, I can attack the water cooler. How useful. Well, that didn't refill my stamina meter, but hey, there we go. I like that in the background. It's like, you know what? We're just going to wear our influences on our sleeve. The main problem being that their game is not quite as good. Not by any stretch of the imagination. That long attack as well is kind of annoying. Also noticing that it will do a backwards attack regardless of whether or not you press the button to do it. So if you're in front of someone and someone's behind you, then you can do that lame back fist as opposed to actually attacking the guy in front of you, which is not a good thing. Not by any stretch of the imagination. I assume these give me stamina. Yes, they do. There we go. Am I ready to become a true ass kicker? No, no, I am not. I just gained achievement. Did that actually just end the game for me? What? 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 <laughs> Why would you do this? Okay. Well, never mind then. Please tell me I don't have to play that entire thing through again. I think I might be able to skip through to the next level. No, I 
Can't. Okay, we're doing that again, I guess. Well, that'll give me a great opportunity to try a new character. It's very, very rare, I have to say, to see that the game actually gives you a fail state after saying no. I don't know. In some respects, it's kind of refreshing. In other respects, it's terrible design. Oh, dear. Okay, right. Yes, yes, skip through this stuff. Oh, dear, I think his ready animation is actually even worse than anyone else's. Okay. He also goes into a headbutt. As you can see in the combo, regardless of what distance his opponent is from him. Oh, dear. <laughs> That's... Please don't do that. I mean, seriously, headbutts, in my opinion, should really only be for grab attacks. I, that just looks silly. I mean, I didn't even headbutt him. I just I hit him in the chest, which is kind of inefficient, really. I could have just punched him. I can't say that I'm enjoying this all that much so far. Funnily enough, the fact that this character is slower does mean the controls feel a little better. You've got to understand that the actual movement and things in things like Streets of Rage and Golden Axe was actually quite slow. And that was deliberate. It gave you the control that you actually needed in order to beat the game. Because precision was required in order to beat certain bosses and of course certain mobs that were actually very difficult, that were very tricky. They would deliberately flank you in an area you couldn't attack them in purposely my god this guy has a lot of hp way more so than the other guys this might actually be a bit overpowered he also hits like a truck and to be fair the movement speed doesn't seem to help the other characters at all get off why will you not let me go i am bashing buttons over and over again and i can't get out of this what the hell right that's interesting apparently they can infinitely grab you Right, that's nice to know. There we go. There is that combo system which can actually be used to refill your energy, which is quite nice. Okay, yes, I am in fact ready to become a true ass kicker because if I say no, then I fail the game. So there we go. Right. Oh no, pink shirt man. Engage. Oh dear. I also might note that if this game drops to 30 FPS, which it is doing right now, I, it's not a taxing game. Let's put it that way. It should run on pretty much anything. It's even got a Mac version, and as we know, Mac has no games. But in this case, it dropped down because Fraps has this tendency of doing that every now and again. It's actually made the game even jerkier than it was in the first place, so it's not particularly good. So, you know what, I'm actually going to restart Fraps right now to get us back to 60 FPS, so give me a sec. There we go. A little smoother, needless to say. It does not deal well with scaling down. Okay. Onward we go. I like the fact that it's hitting... It's not actually hitting the box. I mean, the fists are at least two feet above the box, but hey. I have to have, find a way to make them fall off their scooters. Well, it won't be that way. I can tell you that for a fact. Oh, God. You can get chain comboed here. Come on. Get to, ah, no, that's not the jump button. Oh, this guy's having unbelievable problems with this. I did play through this first bit just to familiarize myself with the controls initially, and I played the female character who seemed to have no troubles here, but this is just ugh, freaking annoying. What? <laughs> Seriously? Oh, Jesus. Basically, my flying attack doesn't appear to have the range it needs to hit them. Oh, uh, dear God. The special attacks is also take far, far too long. Oh, but hey, I can do that, so I suppose that's all right. This game is pretty much a ball of poorly designed frustration at the moment. And I'd love to say that it's not, but as a huge fan of Streets of Rage and things like that, I am not having fun here. The problem is there's a really good, really good alternative to this game. Why will it not let me out of the sodding hold? What? This game. Yeah, there's a really good alternative to this, which was... You can't be serious! You can't... You're not gonna... Put me back in the tutorial. Oh, my God. 
this game is awful. It really, really is. Everything about it is just atrocious. There is a really good alternative you can play, the Streets of Rage remake, that was technically banned by Sega for whatever reason, but it's still available in various places, including File Planet. For God's sake, go and download that for free and enjoy what Streets of Rage was. Just why you know le Finally, after hammering every button in the world, it lets me out of that. Streets of Rage was a great game, and there are very few games that have successfully emulated it. I think the closest that has happened thus far has got to be Scott Pilgrim versus the world. That did a really good job of it. That was a lot of fun and it's got some very cool elements in it as well. I still can't get out of this sodding thing. All right. That did a good job. Unfortunately, never came to the PC. Streets of Rage Remake is on the PC. Streets of Rage Remake is far, far better than this game and it doesn't cost any money either. Aside from that, Castle Crashers on 360 and PS3 is okay. It's not quite as good as Streets of Rage, but it's got some sufficiently funny elements. And the combat's pretty fun anyway, especially with four players, to make it worthwhile. In the case of the Ass Kickers, I'm sorry, but this game lacks the necessary clout to be a Streets of Rage clone. It wears its influences on its sleeve and yet doesn't really do justice to the original games. When you're being beaten by a Genesis game that's pretty much 20 years old, then you know something is wrong with your title. There is definitely an awful lot wrong with this one. The combat is just awkward. It is not satisfying. The controls are clunky, sluggish to respond. And it has really irritating elements, even in the first level. So I can't imagine how bad it gets later on. I would recommend avoiding this game if for some reason you feel like you want to play it anyway then there is a demo available and you can also get a hold of this title on Gamers Gate. The link is in the description below this video. If I were to say one good thing about this game, the music's kind of neat and I suppose the menu looked awesome. It's just a shame the rest of the game did not match up to the art design in the menu system. Oh well, a swing and a miss I'm afraid for Ego Games in my humble first impressions based opinion. My name has been Total Biscuit, and I will see you next time.